So you're going to hear a lot about this now. The VP search hitting a fever pitch. The convention only about a week away. Amid reports that Donald Trump will announce his pick prior to the start of the convention. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is said to be on the short list. He is speaking with Trump later today. There's another name being talked about as well. Retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. Now, uh, he's said to be a Democrat, but some conservatives wary about his views on abortion when he said something like this from Sunday. Women have to be able to choose uh, what they, uh, you know, the, sort of the, the right of choice. But I think that that's a that's a difficult legal decision. That uh, and I think that women are so important uh, in that in that decision making process. I mean, they are they are the ones that have to make the decision because they're the ones. That's Ones that are going to decide to bring up that child or not. All right, let's talk about this option now. Carl Rove, former White House Deputy Chief of Staff to President George W. Bush and a Fox News contributor. And Carl, good morning to you there in Austin. Flynn is a registered Democrat, but he has been a fierce critic of the president. Is Flynn a good choice? Yes or no? Well, uh, we, we don't know much about him outside of one thing, which is he is an ardent opponent of Islamic extremism. He is a, uh, he is, uh, he, in, uh, I, I, I knew of him. Uh, in the Bush administration, he was a, a key official at what was called JSOC, the Joint Special Operations Command. Uh, he, was the, he was the guy who was sort of com, uh, leading the effort to find these major players in Al Qaeda and take them out. Uh, and so, you know, it, first of all, it's very odd that the, the, the last time either party, Republican or Democrat, had a vice president of the opposite party was in 1864 when Abraham Lincoln, in the oh. middle of the Civil War, chose a war Democrat, Andrew Johnson of Tennessee. See as his running mate. Uh, otherwise, we've always had it so that uh, you know the running mate of the Republican president is a Republican, and the running mate of the Democratic presidential candidate is a Democrat. So this would be a little unusual. And yes, his views expressed yesterday on abortion will cause a kerfluffle uh, among the largely pro-life. Uh, members of the Republican National Convention. I would or, or bet kerfuffle, that, yeah. Uh, 1864, man, that is reaching deep. Um, let me just yeah. motor through a couple more names, okay? There's one report that it says uh, that Mike Pence is the guy. Um, strong conservative cred, the Republican governor from Indiana, former um, lawmaker on the House side. I don't know. Is is Pence the guy? It, w would he well, be a good originally, pick? Well, originally, Trump said he wanted to have somebody who had Washington experience who could help get his legislative package through. And Pence was a leader in the House Republicans That's before right. returning to Indiana. To, to, he's now at the end of his first term as governor. He's actually up for election this year. So, but he's still an outsider, which, you know, look, I think, I think we got three things going on here. Trump has got to try and figure out does he want a general or does he want a Washington insider? Does he want an outsider? Does he want somebody who uh, has got legislative experience. I mean, there are all kinds of different, you know, sort of changes going on here. Does he want somebody who uh, is simpatico with him on an issue, Islamic extremism, or simpatico on a wider range? Does he want somebody who's going to be an attack dog or somebody who is going to play a lesser role in the campaign? And how he resolves all these is being very, it's very interesting to, to yeah. see. I mean, clearly he's changed his mind. The fact that he's now saying, well, I really am not certain I want an, out, an insider. I may want a general. Uh, and, and or I may want somebody who was an insider uh, is serving in Congress, but is an outsider because they're a governor. I, I, this all is going to come down, I think, no, at the end of personal chemistry as to how he resolves his conflict. I mean, a lot of times that's where it goes. But you're right. But the one hardcore clue that Trump gave months ago was that he wants somebody who knows Congress going back 20, 25 years. Now, we'll see whether or not that's the case. Uh, a few other names. Newt Gingrich. I mentioned Chris Christie. Jeff Sessions out of Alabama. Is there one of those three that is more likely? Well, I think the, of those three, the, the one most likely is is uh, is Newt Gingrich, who uh, has been a fan of Trump's for some period of time. Trump has said nice things about him. He said nice things about Trump. Uh, he is obviously uh, an insider who knows how Congress works. Uh, you saw his comments uh, that uh, or that you showed earlier, Trump's comments earlier, where he said, in one way, shape, or form, there, you know, Newt Gingrich is going to be part of my administration, whether it's going to be vice president or not. I mean, that, that would be interesting to watch that dynamic because Newt has an idea a minute, and it'd be interesting to see how Trump responds to that. I'm sure that uh, already he's gotten a sense of it with, uh, with Newt tossing ideas over the transom about the conduct of the campaign daily. So it'd be uh, interesting in a to word, see how but that But in a word, do you think Gingrich would want that job, yes or no? 
Oh, you'd be desperate. Yeah, absolutely. You would okay. you would kill or die for it. I mean, you know, it's uh, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, All right. Sure, puts, it puts him in the White House. Look, I, 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 I had to deal with Newt Gingrich when I was at the White House at a lesser, at a lower level, and he clearly would love to be a player inside in, uh, any Republican administration. The I mean, idea of being the vice president has a regular weekly lunch with the president, sits in on all major uh, policy issues, and is able to opine, uh, you know, he, uh, that, that would be Newt's. That'd be better yeah, than being other insiders have suggested that he would hate that job, but we'll find out from Gingrich. Uh, Carl, thank you very much. Paul you Ryan bet. will speak at the convention. Ted Cruz will speak at the convention. So some of that, uh, some of the mechanisms for that are in order as well as we speak. Thank you, Carl. Talk to you real soon. Here's Martha. You bet.